Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Sin, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be having a look at simultaneous crafting. I'm going to be using the A2 uh, crafting network that I've made before, so if you want to have a look at that, please have a look at a previous tutorial. But for today, we're going to crack on with simultaneous crafting. What does that mean? Simultaneous crafting to me means creating the same item using two different machines. And what do I mean by machines? Well, it could be an ME interface with a molecular assembler, it could be maybe an alloy smelter from Ender IO, um, it could just be a redstone, uh, sorry, it could be a redstone furnace from thermal expansion, anything like that where we want to use more than one machine to give us better throughput. And what we're going to make today is we're actually going to be making crafting tables. And this is an easy one, but in some expert packs, you know, you might need hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of crafting tables for some of your you know, end game uh, builds because it just, you know, they add up. They very much add up. So what are we going to do first? Well, we know we have the craft in, in our system already, and I'm going to create two patterns, and this is on the crafting. So I'm going to make a crafting pattern, and I'm going to make a second crafting pattern. And the most important thing here is that they're exactly the same. They're both crafts, two wood, so oak wood planks with one oak wood with no substitutions. So they're exactly the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in separate ME interfaces. And as you can see here, they go straight in. And now we have two molecular assemblers that have those patterns. And if we jump in here and let's say we craft, I'm going to say craft 400, hit start, and there we go. So we can see we're crafting them pretty quickly. And we come down back to our ME interfaces with our molecular assemblers. You can see now that they are crafting them both simultaneously and they're doing them at the fastest rate that they can. Okay, so that's simultaneous crafting using ME interfaces and molecular assemblers. Now, an important thing to note here is that you can't use two different recipes to simultaneously craft. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say I used here, I use a crafting pattern. Let's say in another machine like a precision sawmill or um, another or a sawmill from, uh, from thermal expansion, you wouldn't choose the two recipes. It'll choose one or the other. Now, that's not to say that if you had two recipes for the sawmill and two separate sawmills, that so that wouldn't simultaneously craft, but it won't craft with the sawmill and it won't craft with the molecular assembler simultaneously. So it's an important thing to note. If you've liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if you'd like to see more like this, please feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, have a good day. See you now.